Hey, hi. Let's talk about scalar functions in the SQL server. It is one of the important function uh, for the SQL developers. So these scalar functions are the one which is going to return a single value. It is going to perform the operations in the function and it is going to return a single value based on the data type which you defined in the return class. So let me show you the syntax. Let me go to the SQL Server Management Studio to explain that practically. The syntax is create function, function name, function name returns. So whatever the uh, data type, whatever the value you want to return. So that data type you need to specify here as return the code you need to write here. The code you need to write here means the function is going to return a value compulsory. So without returning a value, it is not a function means so this is a syntax you need to follow while writing a scalar valued functions so let me show you practically how to write a scalar valued functions it means that how to return a single value in the scalar valued functions so before going to uh, show you that example so let me show you what are all the tables i am going to use here i am going to use adventure works database where i have a couple of uh, tables which are already having a uh, data the first table i am going to use as a product table production dot product so which are of having around like a 500 plus rows with the name of product id product name and product number so there are other uh, flags we don't need to uh, talk in detail next so production subcategory so if you go to the production subcategory this production uh, product product table and product subcategory table so are going to link with the help of the so product uh, category subcategory ID. So if you see, if you go to the product uh, table, so there you will be having a, a product subcategory ID. Let me go there in the right side. So there is a column, yeah, a product subcategory ID. Means the first two tables are going to link with a product subcategory ID. The last table is a product category. If you go there, so there you have a product category ID, but this product category ID is linked in the product subcategory. Means if you, if you understand very clearly, about these three tables so these tables are having primary and uh, foreign key primary key relationships okay now so i want to identify so whenever i pass a, a product category id so whenever i pass a product category id one two three something like that i want to identify how many products are there in this particular product category so let us say when i pass a product category as one means it means that it is going to come as a bikes okay when i pass product cat, sub, uh, category id as one I need to identify how many uh, products are there in this product category. Okay. First, let me write a function here. How I am going to write? I am going to follow the syntax. Create function. Okay. So I am going to give the product uh, function name. Get uh, number of products based on category category ID category id okay and it is expecting a input so that input i need to put that so that input i need to provide with a declaration first at the rate so product category id means it is expecting a input category id comma int the int okay yes Re sorry returns 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 i am going to make it as a data type as a int Yes, now I need to write a select query. So the syntax is return. So I need to open parenthesis and I'm going to close parenthesis at the end. Here I need to write a query. So here it is not a direct query for me. So here I'm going to explain the, uh, the link between the tables also. It is not a straightforward query. I'm going to write return. and return. Return. Here I'm going to write select count of some I'm going to type one. That's fine from first i need to uh, link these tables production dot product i'm going to make it as a p so join i'm going to make it as a table as this one production dot production subcategory so i'm going to name the alias name as ps 
on p dot or ps dot whatever it is p dot uh, sub category id equal to p dot sub product sub category id right yeah so join i'm going to take one more join join productions dot production category production category production dot product category i'm going to make it as pc on pc dot product category id equal to ps dot product category id if you see that now i am going to pass a product category id so when i pass a product category id it is going to validate it and where i need to validate that right pc dot product category id equal to whatever the value i need to pass whatever the value i am getting from input so this is a value i need to pass now if i run the query so it is going to give you the list of products which are under that particular category now i am going to execute this first i need to create the function so this is how we create the function of the scalar let's execute it if you see that let me okay so it was another weird thing okay hi so let us see when we execute this uh, function we are getting the error so even though when you are writing a scalar functions so after the as so we need to start with a begin and you need to end with a end see means the scalar function is going to expect begin and end statement before uh, return and after return okay so i kept a begin and uh, end here so i am going to create this function i am going to execute that yeah commands completed successfully now how to execute this function in the um, sql server how to execute this so here we need to use a select or print functions select i am going to take that name okay and it is going to expect some input because i gave a product id product category id here so let me take it as a one here so if i run this directly like this it is going to give you the error message because so it has to represent with a database object dbo so every time whenever you call a function you need to represent that with a dbo database object keyword so let's run this now select this dbo dot that function name of one if i run this here i am going to get as a 885 now if i want to see the number of products in the product category id 2 so i can select this as product category 2 now 4130 so this is how we write a scalar functions that's it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel for more technology videos thank you